Sangan di Mama Zambu. Uh, I'm from Malaysian. Uh, I'm Malaysian and I'm from Faculty of Science. I'm Isal Sariwa Fatina and I'm from SK Architecture Major and I'm now in a final year. Saya Syekh Ibn Al-Jihab. Saya daripada Universitas Pendidikan Kemah Ibu. Okay, uh, nama saya Siti Lantan Bishma dan saya juga sama berusaha seperti dia. Uh, my name is Zeti Raihan uh, Muhammad Yassin and I'm working as a... In short, my position is the manager uh, for the Inbound Mobility Program. I'm Punita. Okay, my full name is Punita Billy and I'm from Puan Mari Muku. I'm the senior manager in UTM International. Bioscience is uh, really important to nature, which is as we know, we are already been in a pandemic since 2019, whereby COVID-19 hits our uh, worldwide. And then, why I'm choosing this, maybe it can bring me to the future career, whereby research of the COVID-19 itself. Saya ambil nature pendidikan ni kerana boleh ambil apa yang saya yang minat dan saya minat dalam segi kemahiran I guess it's a, I think about my interest that especially on the empowerment contract and also about the human need they have here okay, uh, Saya memilih jurusan ini sebab saya yakin saya pun boleh mempunyai uh, saya pun mempunyai keguruan seperti lelaki yang lain of course uh, during my uh, during my day uh, we are only have 18% of 18% of students and most of it are our own. Um, mostly of my course or student is a woman and many of us is if for the locals, especially for the Malaysians, for the international students is for me with my friends. I think um, most of the staff here in UTM International are uh, women because um, uh, we have uh, almost 50 staff here uh, in total and more than half of the staff are women. Generally, uh, UTM has higher percentage of women work class. Uh, we have more women in, uh, I mean, at the clerical level, at um, middle management and uh, uh, senior positions, as well as even um, as lecturers and even senior lecturers and uh, professors. Okay, a woman have a big uh, and more idea than uh, men, but as you know, uh, they also uh, have. Uh, really want to persuade the study and really want to be more, what do we call, successful in the future. We need, we need to have a higher education to have a better future and it will have a benefit also for our children in the future. Uh, so, perempuan boleh bangkit dan boleh mencuba something yang baru. Bukan yang sana duduk di dalam, duduk kat rumah, masak saja dia isi rumah. Dia jadi, boleh jadi sesuatu yang dia suka. It has something to do with uh, the office work because most of the women they are taking some courses, um, business course, but most of the men maybe because they are more interested in engineering and others, so the job is not suitable for them. Women are proving uh, their capabilities better now. Okay, and there's a lot of opportunities and there's I, I can say there's no gender biasness in UTM. In a deputy vice chancellor's level, currently none. Okay, previously we had uh, one or two women at deputy vice chancellor's level. I the same goes at uh, prime minister's level in Malaysia. We never had a women prime minister. Though there was a temporary prime minister, but even the prime minister level, we did not have a, a woman prime minister. So, 
uh, we are proving our capability and I really hope at one uh, uh, sometime soon we will have a lady uh, vice chancellor in UTM and even a lady prime minister in Malaysia. So my name is Dr. Nur Hayati. Uh, I am currently Associate Director at UTM International Kuala Lumpur Office and Associate Professor in Environmental Engineering at Malaysia Japan International Institute of Technology. So basically regarding my background, I did my PhD back in 2009 in Environmental Engineering and then my focus research was on industrial wastewater treatment using aerobic granulation. I completed my PhD in 2012, uh, Alhamdulillah, with a uh, high impact factor journal and publications. And then uh, I applied for the Laurier UNESCO for Women in Science uh, research grant at that time. I thought that with the grant, I could further enhance uh, my study and my interest in looking at industrial wastewater treatment beyond aerobic granulation technology. Uh, you mentioned that you did you did your master study in Newcastle University, correct? Mm, yes. Okay, so that means you also did uh, a brief study in Kyoto. So that means that you have seen um, so you have seen how uh, women are uh, how people behave towards women in in science in a lot of different countries. And in your view, how does the treatment differ? Like, uh, is it is it different from one country to another? Uh, I think that you already stated before that in Malaysia, um, science is not a male-dominated field, that there are a lot of women researchers in Malaysia. So th I think that's really good. But how about in other countries? Have you ever seen a country where women are still, um, are, are still not being um, seen in science and all of that? Okay, um, this is a very interesting question because obviously the first thing that I'm going to say about science that is that it is genderless. So science is not male or female oriented. Science is for everyone. So during my travels to various countries, May I just say that uh, women receive equal opportunities, that women are being promoted at the front seats, that women are highly encouraged to take the seats, the key seats at the table. And then um, women are not being left behind in science courses, in science subjects. The only thing that differs between women and male is that the leadership position in scientific organization or science-based organization or in engineering kind of thing may differ between main, male and, and females. How did becoming a woman in this career shape you as a person and how and your views on basically women's, I think you already explained earlier too, but uh, how did this shape you as a person and your views on uh, women in general and also women in um, science, like maybe you've met a lot of other great women and how, how did that shape you as a person? Okay, thank you. Obviously, meeting other women icons and and also watching a uh, Netflix on Kartini, uh, as well as uh, meeting women leaders, women ambassadors, for example, and being among uh, women warriors and winners have been super inspiring in my life. So um, it's actually it's all in your mind. So I have I have been telling this to my to everybody to everybody, especially my postgraduate students that. It is actually uh, in your mind as to how might you set your mindset to be in that positive mode for winning. Uh, I think my, this is the, the closing question maybe. Okay. Um, so do you have a message for young women out there, especially women who are still pursuing their dreams and their study and all of that? Uh, what should they, uh, how should they 
uh, proceed with their dreams and all of that. I'm sure that a lot of young girls out there, uh, they're still trying to figure out what they want to do. Like maybe they relate to your story about wanting to do environmental psychology, but also already being uh, an engineer and all of that. Maybe you want to give a message for young women out there. Okay. So very simple message that I have that I have here. Uh, I normally write messages or quotes in my Instagram. And then uh, this is something that I wrote recently to close the month of March. So read yourself like you read your favorite book. Read yourself like you read your favorite book. Like you must be able to understand yourself and love yourself from head to toe. Like when you read your favorite book, it will be like from the front cover until the back cover. And you really indulge yourself in understanding and enjoying the content of your favorite book. That is how we should be able to understand and read ourselves, like from head to toe. Understand the talents that you have for yourself, the uniqueness of yourself, uniqueness of yourself. And then the skills that you may have or you may wish to prosper or you may wish to learn more. Let nothing ever stop you in your journey to success.